in this tutorial we'll be creating this quick and simple unfolding text reveal using Element 3D within After Effects. And we're gonna be creating it from start to finish. Let's get right into it. So I've already got my text here set up. I'm gonna create two solids here. One will be for the background and the other one for Element and also create a camera. Let's add Element to this layer and we'll go into Custom Layers, Text and Mask and select our text layer. Let's drop it below here, hide it, and we'll go into Element. Let's hit Extrude, and we'll go into the presets here. Under the Bevel presets, we've got some nice ones, and the Pro Black is my favorite. Let's go ahead and choose this. I'm actually just gonna scale up the bevel here by a bit, so set it to 5, and hit OK. So let's go into Group 1, and under Particle Look, we'll go into Deform, and under Bend, let's enable it. And here, if we start playing with the angle, can see it's starting to bend it so let's change the direction to 90 and this way we can create sort of a circular band here if this is something you want to do and if we go into the axis here and change it to y and start increasing the angle you can see we're getting this sort of a folding effect now we are having some artifacts here which we are going to fix in a bit but let's start adding the actual bend effect so we'll go into the origin here and on my y offset i'm going to increase this so it actually scrolls up and we can already see the bending effect happening. So let's set a keyframe here for the bend angle. Let's go to about three seconds and set it to zero. I will select these keyframes, hit F9. So you can already see the text being sort of unfolded and it's looking quite good. Let's go ahead and fix a few things here just so we can avoid some artifacts. So I'll go back into my element and I'll actually set the bevel scale back to four. And if I go into my first material here, I'm going to extrude it forward just a bit more and move the Z just like that. I'm just going to create a few adjustments here on my materials so it doesn't collide too much. Let's hit OK. And this is already looking better. We don't really see any artifacts and this is good to go. All right. One more thing I do recommend doing is going to the scene setup here and under your materials, scroll all the way down here and enable draw back faces on both of your materials. So if the text start breaking at some points, it's gonna fill in that gap. All right, let's split the camera here. So maybe here I'll control shift D to split the camera and I'll create two keyframes here. Let's move them to the frame where it ends and I'll just create sort of a zoom out effect like so. Hit F9 and let's create sort of a smooth graph and I'll move these two back here. Now here's a quick tip on how to create a continuous type of zoom. So I'll create a new null object, make it 3D, and I will parent my camera to this null object. I'll select position on my null, and let's go to about five seconds here and start zooming out like so. So once I play this back, you can see I'm getting this continuous camera movement, which is looking smooth. And for this camera angle, I'm gonna go around here and just position it sort of close to my model. Make two keyframes here, just a quick angle and we'll follow along like so and move these two here. All right, so it's sort of unfolding and revealing. Now let's start making this look better. So I'll go into my background and add a gradient and let's swap the colors and make it radial. I'll just create this sort of color here, black and white, pretty generic, but yeah. And I'll go into element, create a new plane. Let's drop it down here and put it under group number two. Scale this up, hit OK, and let's select group number two here and position this sort of as our ground layer here, somewhere around here. Let's scale this up. And once we position the layer, we can go ahead and go back into element, go into our presets and select the match shadow material. So now basically, if we go and enable ambient occlusion we're gonna start seeing shadows on that plane but the plane is not visible now if i go into the render settings here under my physical environment you can obviously play around with some of these settings but a cool thing here you can do is if we play with the environment rotation here so say we position it like so i can set the z rotation here so it sort of swipes through the text so if we play this back we get this sort of a little shine going over it like so and one more thing here you can add is obviously motion blur. So if we go ahead and enable motion blur, that's gonna make the unfolding look much better. All right, this is it for this tutorial, a pretty quick one. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.